Hi, I'm Will Fields, and I've been a commercial photographer for over 40 years. ISO refers to how sensitive your sensor is to light. It can be ranged from, like I showed you, 100 up to 200,000 ISO. In the old days of film, back when I was first started, back in the days of dinosaurs and the whole bit, um, 400 ISO film was considered pretty hot stuff. It was a big deal. And then they went to 800 and went all the way up to, wow, 1600 ISO film. And the film, let's face it, it looked bad. It had what was then called grain, which kind of looked like little sand pebbles or maybe even marbles on the 1600 film. But you just lived with it because you actually got a picture in the dark. Today, we can basically go and shoot bats in a cave. And the future is only going to get bigger. But the best way to think of ISO is kind of like your car radio. It's pretty simple. When you want more sound on your car radio, you just turn up the volume, right? Nothing to it. Turn up the volume, you get more sound. With ISO, you need more light, you turn up the ISO. Easy, does a really good job, but the downside to it is what's referred to as noise. Just like your car radio, if you turn it up too loud, it begins to distort, your speakers are blaring, you can't hear it, it's fuzzy, it's bad. That's noise on your ISO. So you want to be careful to shoot with the lowest ISO you can because of quality, but by the same token, a fuzzy picture is way better than no picture. That's ISO. Mm -hmm.